Hi, Matt Gads here. Um, basically, I went shopping the other day and I wanted some shoes, and this was attached to it. This actually, let me see if I can focus it in a bit. This actually came back on the shoes. I wasn't aware until I got back, and um, I went to wear them yesterday actually to a wedding. And basically, I thought, let's have a look, see what's inside of it. Because we know these work on a magnet. And because it works on a magnet, there must be something in there that has to be pulled the opposite way to see what's going on. So, as you can see, there's no possible way you could get past that little point there. So, if I can just put that back in there quickly, as you can see. Yeah, look, you can see basically the stabber. There's no way you're getting it there to do anything to this. But I'll show you something in a minute, I'll just give it anyway. Let's just take this out of here. And it's in there solid disc repair pliers. So it's spring loaded. So that. Oh, it says we can not drop it. Anyway. Yeah. It's spring loaded, so it pushes it. So as soon as you push that pin in, it's not going to be sitting at the top. It's going to go straight back into it. Just basic plastic cap and things like plastic. There's a spring, not particularly strong. Then we get to inside here. Now, focus. I haven't been able to manage to get it out of here and I'm not going to attempt on camera because I look an idiot but can you see just in there this little round thing I've noticed three of these all the way around and they're actually ball bearings and that's what the magnet must pull on is these ball bearings and that must just release it enough pull it back to release it enough to get it out I haven't managed to be able to do it yet but hopefully I will be able to actually just try this out and do some bypass if I can get out around the back. Nah. No getting there enough for toffee. Might try to cut it out. Have a look see. But yeah, as you can see, there's the spike in there, which is the top part of this. And these was attached to the elastic bit of my shoe. And I'll try to hacksaw it, which is a bit of a nightmare because I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get it off easy or anything. Because I thought it might be like a hardened metal or something. But as I have discovered, it's not hardened metal at all. This is just cheap metal. In the end, I resorted to a pair of pliers. Not any pliers, but like electrical pliers. It's just trying to get this into it. And get round the back. Now, so a couple of poles, he says. Obviously, I had more to work with yesterday, and I wasn't in that little groove. But anyway, you can see I've just pulled that straight. Where's that an angle? You can you see at the bottom where it's splitting? You know, it's not well crafted. You could probably just snap that off, or small wire cutters. But anyway, you shouldn't do that because the whole idea is just to show you and to stay legal. But it's these ball bearings in there that interest me. I've got to try and find a way to get these out, and when I do manage to get it out, I'll just show you a little bit more about it. Won't be much longer, maybe thirty second video. But anyway, stay safe and uh, stay legal.